Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can download Flash games from the internet and save them onto your computer so you can play them offline. So to go ahead and do this, you're, I'm going to go ahead and show you two different methods. One method is going to be using nothing but the web browser Safari, and the other method is going to be showing you not, with nothing but the web browser Firefox. So let's go ahead and start off with the Safari method first. I believe this will work on both Macs and PCs, considering these softwares are both universal, but however, I've only tested it on my Mac. So to get started we're going to go ahead and open up Safari and we're going to go ahead and go to the URL of a popular Flash game that we want to play. The game that I'm going to be playing is Happy Wheels which you can find here at happywheels.biz. So let's say I want to go ahead and download this game. What I would do in Safari is I would go up here to Window and then I would go to Activity which would open up the Activity Monitor window. And then what I would do is I would search through all the different apps activity tabs to go ahead and find the file of the actual game itself. So what we're going to be looking for is a .swf file and it's going to be larger than most of the other files on the website. As you can see here, this one is measured in megabytes rather than the rest of the files on the site which is measured in kilobytes. So once you have that done, what you want to do is you want to double click on that link right there and it will open it up into a new tab. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and copy the link from the new tab that we have right there and you want to go ahead and once you have that copied, you want to go back up to Window and you want to click on Downloads. Once that's there, you want to go up to Edit and Paste and then it should automatically start downloading that SWF file. And once that's done, you can take that SWF file and you can open it with any other web browser just by clicking and dragging it in. And then you should be able to go ahead and play that game offline. So anyway, that's the easy way by using Safari. Now there's an even easier way to do it by using Firefox. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up Firefox and then we're going to go back to the game that we want to play. Again, I'm using Happy Wheels. Next thing you want to do is just make sure you have everything loaded up and you want to go here to File and Save Page As. Once you have that open, just go ahead and save it to any way you want to. And once you have it saved, it'll come up to these two icons right here. One of them will be an HTML file, which will be the actual web page itself. And the other will be an actual file folder, which will have all of the different files used on the website. Now, if you guys really want to and you can't find any other way to play the game, you guys can just click on the, SD you guys can just click on the HTML file and uh, open it up yourself. But if you just want the Flash game, just go ahead and open up the folder, then go ahead and find the SWF file that is the actual Flash game file, and do the same thing we did in the last part of the tutorial. Just click and drag it into your browser, and there you go, you have the game and you can play it offline. So that's pretty much how you guys can go ahead and play your Flash games offline. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. And if you guys want to see more of me on the internet, I have another video that I put, that I put up on youtube.com forward slash help central one, which talks about everything that you need to know about game emulation. So you can go ahead and watch that by clicking here. And if you guys want to check out my brand new Tumblr blog, which is where I'm going to be posting pretty much everything that I want to talk about, feel free to go ahead and uh, check that out too at nickw 324 tumblr.com all right that's it for this that's it for this tutorial until next time thank you for watching and goodbye okay guys so I wanted to show you guys a little something that I figured out when I was uh, browsing around to figure out how to make this tutorial so in the tutorial I showed you to go to window and activity and uh, to search for your SWF file and I found a file while I was browsing through there that was just is this like hidden on the site or something but uh, it's uh, this link right here and uh, it's basically an mp3 file and it says please underscore give underscore me so if you go ahead and click on please that please give me all of your money please give me all of your money <laughs> that must be like some kind of hidden easter egg on the website okay so um yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video and this little uh extra <laughs>